Continuiamo a pregare per le persone ammalate in questa pandemia. Oggi vorrei chiedere una speciale preghiera per le famiglie. There's breaking news to tell you as the country of Italy has reached a very grim milestone today. Let's go to NBC's Matt Bradley, who's joining us once again from a, a very darkened and somewhat desolate Rome. What do you know? Yeah, we just heard now that Italy's death toll has now topped 10,000. Now we have more than nearly uh, 900 dead just today here in Italy. And yesterday it was a very, very grim milestone. It was the largest number of deaths in one day, nearly 1,000 deaths in one day. That's the largest for any country in a single day anywhere in the world since this whole thing started. So, you know, this is a, a country that is, we have to remember, much, much smaller than China, much, much smaller than the United States. And still, it is being ravaged by this disease, the flattening the curve that we keep talking about. So far, we're really not seeing that, and that's a really big problem and a, a major curiosity for a lot of scientists. Why is it that nearly three weeks into this nationwide lockdown, we still haven't seen the results of this lockdown, of this massive quarantine, in the figures? And, you know, the death toll is still very, very high, of course, but we're also seeing in the number of new transmissions. That really hasn't decreased in any statistically significant way. We just saw in today's new numbers that just came out in the last couple of minutes, Minutes, that uh, there's still you know, thousands and thousands of new test, uh, test positives. So this is going to be very troubling for a lot of people who are wondering whether or not this lockdown has actually been having an effect at all, even as it ravages the economy and upsets so many people. And that's a question that a lot of Americans are going to have when they look here in Italy 